Okay, this is uh, Lego Minifigures Online. Um, although it does support the controller, I've not figured out how to get past that login screen without using a mouse. But anyway, on with the game. Now, this game was uh, re released. Ooh. Let's enter. This game was re released uh, a few months ago. Uh, previously, it had been a free to play game with, uh, you know, you had to buy the additional content, uh, lots of microtransactions and stuff. Uh, buy minifigures and things. It's been re released as a pay up front game. Uh, this part of this re release is. Uh, additional platform support, namely uh, Mac and Linux. I don't think it was on Mac before, so clearly I'm playing it on Linux. Uh, it has come in some, for some criticism in that the base price is £25. Here we go. Explore the island. This is the Volcano Island. A wild and dangerous place full of territorial islanders, wild animals, and mystical fire creatures. All right! The perfect place to find treasure, adventure, and more treasure! Rumor says there's a hidden and terrifying passage through the volcano. Let's try and find it! Okay. Yeah, so it's 25 quid as base price. Um, most people are of the opinion that uh, 25 quid is a bit steep for uh, for what it offers. Now, I should point out that you know, it's clearly a game for kids. It certainly, certainly doesn't appear to be... Oh, stop the monkeys. Certainly doesn't appear to be that challenging. Where are the monkeys? There they are. That's menace the monkeys. Yeah, it's not that challenging. Oh, I think I have died. Ooh, cheeky. I have died at one point. But it isn't it isn't a common thing to be going on. Uh, there we go. This will be it for the quest, I think. Quest completed. I picked up some sort of head. So let's head back to our uh, main mission objective. Yeah, so I didn't buy it initially for the 25 quid uh, but it was at the start of well last month now it was half price and I thought well 25 quid I could live with that no oh, 12 pound 50 I can live with that for the game um, having any Lego game on Linux I mean I know it, there may be not the um, top gamers choice Top, top uh, gamer choice, but Lego is Lego is a big brand, you know, globally. There's no getting away from it. Ooh, what's up here? Free the pirates, business. Yeah, there we go. Oh yes, yeah, no going away with big fan. Oh, I think it's worth supporting. Supporting uh, Lego releasing games on Linux. Even if the games we get aren't the best ones available. I mean it is 
There's fun. There's fun going on. It's it's not like it's a totally terrible game. It's fairly well presented. It works for the most part. It's just a bit simple and if we're uh, if we're, if I'm to understand the who who's that? If we're to uh, listen to the listen to uh, what people are saying, a bit short. Uh, so I say it works alright, there is one issue with the game for me that happens on this machine is that the sound doesn't work if I start the game from the Steam client so in order to get to work I have to I have to start the game from the command line oh I've reached level 7 Start the game from a command line uh, using an app ID. Using an app ID file in the in the directory so that it picks up the Steam picks up the Steam uh, the Steam link. That is quite frankly a bit of a pain. There we go. I freed the pirate prisoners. Woohoo! So after you've seen, there is uh, there's main quests, there's side quests. There's not much actual Lego building, and all you really do for the Lego building is is you stand on spots and press A, and it builds. I'll show you now the uh, so there's my options, my world map. Let's start over at the shop side. So this is a. Uh, Clearly, before it was a uh, pay up front, you could buy these different worlds. Uh, you can also, well, presumably before it was pay up front, you could buy different characters. You still can unlock uh, unlock characters by buying the minifigure uh, packets. You get a code. When you get a minifigure packet, you can type the code in and unlock a character, or, or so I understand. All, all of these ones I've un unlocked through gameplay, though, so that's, uh, you know, not pay to win any, not well, not pay to play anymore. So this is, as you go around, you collect parts of minifigures. You can see I've, you need three for each one. I've collected two of that one, I've collected two of this one. And when you've got them, you can assemble them. Uh, okay, what's over here? There are a whole bunch of uh, optional quests. Ooh, Skydiver. Pocket Adventure, they're called. Now, I think that in the first version of the game, the Pocket Adventures were also uh, pay add-on parts. Now... While I'm here, what do I want to do? I wanted to level up. Let's go back to collection. Let's open open me up. R1. So you can see the uh, RPG type things. Now what have I got? Series 10. Oh, I need level 7. Can I, can I do that though? Oh, I see. I can only do one of them. Interesting. Well, I'll leave it where it was then. Let's, let's go and beat up everybody. By throwing bees at them. Let's, let's squash some spiders. So you saw there were some other characters. I have. Let's uh, let's go back to there. I've got. You can select three at once. I have. What's that? Seven unlocked. So if I press 
L1, I can switch. I can switch to a pizza throwing man. Look at him go. And uh, there you go. So button A is your normal attack. You can see at the bottom there. And button B is button uh, X rather is your super attack. Come here, stars. And really, it's just a case of, of button mashing. You can call it an action RPG, because technically it is. But it's, it's not like there's a whole lot of tension going on as to whether you're going to win battles or not. Or even strategy. Oh, what's that? Cool. I'm assuming the boss will be around here somewhere. So let's, uh, let's deal with all these minions. Let's switch to my other character. He's a swashbuckler. Or melee character. <laughs> okay, well that's the boss over there. Hey, what's that doing? Don't worry, that'll take me. Let's go and attack this boss then, shall we? Want a skydiver? Oh, and a sea captain body. You'll see. So now, if I go into assembly, somewhere down here, it'll be a sea captain. There he is. I have his body. Yeah. So I think you've basically seen the game now. I'm assuming this is the way out. There we go. I already killed everything up there. Which way do I need to go around? Oh, over the bridge and back. So you've seen the game. I've, I've completed that side quest. Um, there is a main quest I'm on to do with... To do with uh, a ghost pirate stealing, stealing things off of your character. Um... You know, it's a story, it's fine, no great depth. Um, I think the people complaining that 25 quid is too much for this game are probably right. But, it's, you know, there's fun to be had here. If you have young children and you, you, you plan to get, what, a steam box or whatever, and so you want to... Uh, You, you want to help them to have something to play? It might be worth investigating this. It might be worth investigating this. Give them something to do. You know, there's worse games. There's worse games children could be playing. It's happy, it's joyful, it's fun. It's not particularly challenging. What am I doing? Smashing the altar. Uh, yeah, probably, like me, don't get it. Don't get it at, at £25. Wait for a sale. It's a pleasant enough game. Oh, I don't know what this does. 
to my thing. There we go. Hey. Volcano Island. Across the Lava River. Right, so across the Lava River. Clearly, that's a great point to be leaving it at. Uh, so Lego and Mini figures online. Uh, it's a well presented game. Not particularly brilliant, not particularly bad. Will appeal to young children. Oh, I think, well, I say young children. Children younger than me. Ha ha. Yeah, check it out. Native on Linux.